Hey guys, Kevin here. I want to show you something that I use all the time. It's how to make your grid or your bars and beats line up with the song that you've already got. Now, there's a couple ways to do this, but what I'm going to show you today is how to make your bars and beats line up with the song. In tomorrow's lesson, I'm going to show you how to make the song line up with the bars and beats. So what we want to do right now, let's create a click track so that we can kind of hear what's going on. So we've got a click track going on now. If you listen, I'm going to mute this. Okay, you hear the tempo of the song there. It's about 118 is what it says here, but listen to the song. You can see that the, they don't really line up. So what, what I'm going to do is show you how I would make this line up. Okay, now let me let me make clear that what we're doing is we're making this click track line up with the already existing song, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is, you know, slide the song to the left so that it starts on bar one, beat one, okay? And we're going to find, listen to the way, I'm going to mute the click. We're, listen to the way we count here. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, bar three. So grab two, your fiddle three, four, and come jam with it. Okay, you see how we're going to go there? So this is already established as one. So we're going to find this uh, uh, bar two, the beginning of bar two. Nashville is where I'm Okay, when he says where, that's what we're going to do. So there's a couple of shortcuts that I use. One is the tab to transient. We'll make sure this is on here. And that what that does is enables you to tab two different transients, okay? So every time I hit tab, um, it's going over to the next transient. So where is where we're going here. So where I Okay, so I'm going to put it somewhere before here, and we're going to tab, 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 till we get to where. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to hit Command I. Okay, and now this is going to pull this up. Now let me let me tell you one other thing too. This conductor track needs to be on too for this to work. Okay, so turn the conductor track on, turn the the tab to transient on, and then hit Command I, and then you'll this screen will come up. So what we want to do is make sure that this is bar two, beat one, and sub. You know, sub count or whatever that is, zero ticks. I think is what they call it. And watch what happens. Bar two snaps to that right there, okay? Now notice it didn't change this, it changed our grid. Okay, so we're gonna go to the next downbeat of the bar, okay? Where I long to be. So okay, so right here, when he goes to the Okay, so right here. So okay, so now that's bar three. I hit command I and hit bar three. Now notice if you do it in bar if you do it in the bars, all of this stuff automatically lines up. So we just hit OK. Now notice the grid change, but not the song. So grab your fiddle and come jam with So grab your fiddle and come jam with Okay, now he, he pushed jam, but I think this is the downbeat. Jam with me. Let's see how that goes. We'll hit Command I and just hit four and then it'll clear. And then we'll go there. Come jam with me. Okay, we'll try that again in a minute. We can slide this around after we get done. I'm, let's finish this course here. Now just watch what I do. Command I when I found the downbeat of the bar. You can also do this on, on any beat. If there's a strong beat on one, two, three, or four, it doesn't necessarily have to be the beginning of the bar. It can be the middle, as long as it's got a strong beat on it. Come and come jam with me. There's music up and down the streets. Ain't no okay, there's one right there. I believe that's bar six, so we'll hit command I. Now see how close bar six is there, but it's not right on. So we'll hit six, and then notice the grid changes. Ain't no telling who you'll meet. Loud to okay, right here, we'll tab. Tab. Till we get there. Loud talk. Okay, and we'll hit command I. Loud talk. Fancy. Okay, now here's another example. Now that's loud guitars is a downbeat, but steel guitars or whatever he says right here. Fancy cars. Fancy cars is a strong downbeat, but it's not the beginning of the bar. It's on beat three. You see that? So I'm gonna hit Command I and show you that it's seven, and we're gonna go here and hit three. Okay. Fancy cars and superstars. Fancy cars and super. Okay, let's find where he goes back to the one there. Cars. About there, so whoops. Well, it's not a real strong downbeat there, so let's let's leave that where it is right now. Okay, so now I want you to see what the tempo does here. 
And see the, the grid, the tempo changes every time I did a, a beat. But I want you to listen to the click track now. It's going to go right with it. Nashville is where I long to be. So grab your fiddle and come jam with me. There's music up and down the streets. Ain't no telling who you'll meet. Loud guitars, fancy cars, and superstars. Okay, so notice we kind of got fast and stayed fast. Let's, let's make one more tweak there. Loud guitars, fancy cars. Okay, let's find the downbeat about right there, I believe, is where it's going to be. So let's hit Command I, and then we'll do that the downbeat. We'll just clear that beat one there. Okay, now notice the tempo goes up and down. You're not going to make any drummer happy by him having to play with that tempo there. So I'm going to show you tomorrow a better way to do it. We're actually going to stretch this to beat our tempo of about, let's just say, 105 is the tempo. We're going to do 105 tomorrow and stretch this using elastic time. So tune in tomorrow and I'll show you that, okay? Thanks for watching.